What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and today we will be vacuuming the living room with, is this focused? With the Loop Pure Cordless Vacuum. So for whatever reason, the internet in my house is out, and uh, so you might not see this for a bit. My internet keeps going out for whatever reason. So in the meantime, we're going to vacuum, and I put some of the pink little crystal carpet fresh thingies just because it's fun and uh, yeah so this is the loop pure cordless and we're gonna back in the living room just pretty basic stuff wow It'll just climb anything. Look at that. Look, Ruby, it matches you.
All right, so after vacuuming the entire carpet in the living room, it's, uh, well, it's interesting. Very interesting indeed. So this machine is obviously a very premium machine, but it's also this one, this particular one is a very early example of a loop pier, mainly because this is the sort of early Kickstarter edition machine at least from what I understand. So it's possible that the units that you would buy from Loop at this point in time on their website, you know, even the same model of pure cordless could potentially have some flaws fixed. Now, as far as my first impressions of truly using the machine, it definitely is very cool. And I will say that because it has plenty of modes. It has a three speeds, in case you couldn't tell. So it starts off at the sort of middle speed, if I remember correctly. And then you can plus, minus, and then if you go back up, you can go back down, etc. So you have plus and minus to change your speeds. You have brush roll on off in the main power. So the battery life has been really good so far. I haven't drained it yet. I've used it a couple times between this video and the unboxing. And so far, I have yet to charge it, which is very good. That's a nice touch. Another thing to mention is that on this particular unit, if you shut off the brush roll, the sort of rubber front foot will still keep turning, even if you shut off the main brush roll. Another feature that I really like. But the good news is, is that regardless of whether or not you have the brush roll on or off, both of the rollers will turn off when you put it in upright mode, as it should. So that all works exactly how you would expect and how it would make sense. So that's very good. The suction on this is pretty decent, as for a cordless machine anyways. It's not enough suction to rival a corded machine. But compared to a lot of other cordless machines that I've used, Navigator Freestyle, Hoover Lynx, Honiture H8, that sort of thing, this machine does seem on par in terms of suction with those machines as well as the Dyson V8 Animal Plus. So that is definitely very good. This machine does have a good amount of suction. It also, the filter setup is very simple and I really like that as well. So I haven't actually washed the filters yet so whenever I get enough dirt in this thing to actually quantify washing the filters I'll mention that whenever I do the full review on this. So this will be my new daily driver, at least until I do the full review. So I've got about two-ish weeks to do the full review on this. And uh, I'll make sure to use it as much, get a good feel of it, get every single detail as possible uh, as far as usability and features out of the way. So that way my review can be as comprehensive as it is for all my other machines. So, but again, first impressions, the suction very positive. The brush roll setup, very positive. The front roller, just uh, despite it being rubber instead of like a felt, it does still have the same issue that some soft rollers have, where once in a while if you have really large debris, it will kind of shoot it across the room instead of effectively picking it up, which I think is just going to is just going to be like a natural sort of thing they're going to have to deal with because large debris like that isn't going to have enough clearance to get underneath the soft roller. And if you want the soft roller to be able to pick up fine debris off of floors and give it that sort of polishing effect, you really need one or the other. There's really not much you can do about that. But that is still a, that is still a better solution than a straight suction head in most cases where a lot of times those straight suction heads wouldn't have enough clearance to let the large debris through anyways, like dog food and stuff like that. But again, some heads are different than others. So... As far as that goes, I'm I'm impressed with that, or maybe I shouldn't say impressed. It's it's exactly what I would expect. It didn't blow me away. Uh, it does feel cool. It's a very cool machine. It's definitely one that you know I do like to have in the collection, even if it's only briefly in the collection. It's still you know something nice to have around, and uh, it also matches my dog, which is nice because she's a good girl. And this is also. So far, it seems like a good vacuum. Uh, the one thing I will say is that on hard floors, the soft roller, it actually does kind of propel the vacuum forward a little bit. 
which I kind of like. It's not like an auric on carpet or it's not like certain other machines where it will yank you forward and it's actually a pain to pull the machine back to the point where the self-propel, quote unquote, is actually more of a hindrance than it is a help. It's not that, but it is something to keep in mind. It does pull it forward a little bit, so but it's also not the kind of thing where it makes it hard to push back. The one thing I will say is that very similar to the Shark Navigator Freestyle, either because of the suction or because of the seal or however it works, it seals itself to floors very nicely. But the bad news about that is it makes it hard to push because there isn't as much air to actually allow it, you know, some leeway and some give as far as gliding around on the surface. So a lot, uh, if you're going to be vacuuming hard floors for a very extended period of time, potentially, you know, running the battery dry through that process, your arm's likely going to be sore after a while because this does have resistance. And while it is a fairly lightweight machine, you know, it's it's definitely not heavy. But, you know, you do feel a little bit of weight because of all this tech. The, the battery has some weight. This metal wand has some weight. So it's not the lightest thing in the world, but it's certainly not heavy. Uh, it's definitely something that's very easily manageable, at least for me. And I think that, you know, if you're if you're willing to put up with a little bit of a heavier machine, I think for this particular machine, the build quality and the build materials, I think, makes up for that deficit. Because there's always going to be a trade-off. You can't have amazing build quality with the best materials and still have an ultralight machine. you got to pick one or the other. It, or you got to be somewhere in the middle. So in this case, it's gone a little bit further on the higher-end build quality spectrum, which is definitely not something I'm complaining about, especially given the price. So that is definitely a nice feature. Another thing that I'm liking about it so far, the tools are on board, and these are actually really good quality tools. I will say is that be, the, there's no turbo brush included with this, and I think that's for a good reason, because like I mentioned before, the suction is not amazing. It's not as good as a as a cord as a corded Dyson or you know any other machine with a lot of suction. Especially if if you're looking at this price range, you're looking at you know the kinetic the Dyson Kinetic Big Ball Animal Plus Allergy. You're looking at the Sebo X4 Automatic. You're looking at the Mila U1. Like those like if you're talking about corded machines in this price range, that's what you're going to be looking at as far as a corded machine to supplement this machine for about the same price. So, you know, those obviously are going to have much better suction, much better carpet pickup performance. But this one will have the advantage of convenience because it's cordless and it's a little bit lighter, it's a little bit more versatile, and it also has the advantage of, you know, doing better on hard floors because of that soft roller setup. And like I said before, one thing I love about this soft roller setup is unlike the Shark Duo Cleans that are very similar in design to this, this actually has both rollers removable, which is the exact thing that I've always wanted in a vacuum. Because I've always liked the dual clean system on the Sharks after I've used them. I know a lot of people don't like that system. A lot of people don't like the dual rollers. They don't like the, the setup the Shark has. I like that setup. But the biggest problem that I have with it is that while you can access the front roller on those machines very easily, and sometimes you can get access to like the top portion, you can kind of snap that off and get underneath to clean it. It, it varies depending on the model. And also, you can't get to the actual brush roll especially on the zero M models where it's even a little bit harder. So, so that is something that's annoying. This machine addresses that. I haven't yet to pull the brush apart, so we'll see how well that works. I'm going to use this for a bit, get a bunch of hair wrapped around the brush, or at least attempt to, and we'll see how well this actually is able to either resist hair tangles or how easy it is to clean once that, once that process builds up. So that's another thing that I'll be looking for to test for the full review. And... Another thing that I have used so far, I have used the attachments. I've used this machine lift away mode where I've disconnected the base. That works very well. The feet do an okay job, but realistically, if you're going to be using this on any tools, you really have to hold it or prop it against something anyways because it will likely tip over. So that that is one thing. Although, again, I'll use it more. Maybe that's just an anomaly with the direction I was using it. But I'll use that more. And another thing that I was starting to mention as far as the turbo brush is that even though there is no turbo brush, this upholstery tool actually works very well. And whenever you have it on the upholstery side, its ability to pick up pet hair is actually very impressive because, you know, these felt strips actually do a good job at getting pet hair up, but they also, as you can see, don't get a ton of hair tangled in them, which is very, very nice. So this tool, and both of these tools, are very high quality. This dusting brush, it's not the best dusting brush in the world, but it is a very, very good quality dusting brush. It's very soft. The bristles are nice and long, so there's going to be plenty of gib to them. So that is very nice. 
And of course, you have two dusting brushes of various sizes, as well as your normal crevice and upholstery tool. The crevice tool does have vent holes, as it should, although I would like it if they were a little bit bigger. But, you know, you still have those airflow holes for whenever you block it. You're not going to, you know, bog down the machine. So that's very nice. And uh, the one thing I don't like, and I, I don't like this, pri this proprietary connector, but at the same time, last I checked, I could have sworn you could buy attachments for this. Maybe not. Um, again, I, I might have to look and update that with a full review, because obviously when the full review happens, I'll be mentioning all the stuff that's true about it at that time as far as available parts. And that's another thing that I love about this machine is that they're actually focusing on making a machine, or at least according to their statement, they're focused on making a machine that's available to last a long time and have parts available. Now, time will tell if those parts will still be available three years down the road, five years down the road. I'm sure it depends on how successful this Loop Pure Cordless is, but with a very high asking price and the, I would imagine, very diminished reach of this machine, especially outside the UK, that does concern me a little bit as far as long-term ability to find parts because... You know, you can say that you're all for parts for your machine all you want, but if you eventually stop supplying the parts because the machine doesn't have good enough sales, not necessarily saying that that's not understandable, it gets to the point where it's like, okay, now the people who bought this machine are kind of left out in the cold. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I'm hoping that, you know, this machine is successful enough to where, you know, people who buy this five years down the road, ten years down the road can still get parts in a reasonable amount of time. So I really hope that holds up because if so, that will be a very strong positive because pretty much no other cordless that I'm really aware of has as many parts available as the Loop, even as it stands today. So that is something that I really, really appreciate and really gives me a good feeling about this machine because it's the kind of thing where if you are going to spend this much money on a machine, at least you feel like you're going to get some sort of a return on your investment. You feel like you're going to be investing in something that will last a long time. And based on the usage that I've had with this so far, it feels like a sturdy machine. There's no obvious weak points that I can tell. There's no obvious design flaws that I've really discovered yet. Again, we'll, we'll see in the full review. But so far, I'm impressed with this machine. There are a little bit of quibble, you know, sort of quibbles that I have with it. But overall, I am impressed. I'm not blown away. You know, its performance is adequate. It's nothing amazing. And I would expect a little bit more for the price. But as far as the all-around package, while I still think the asking price of around nine hundred, like seven nine hundred dollars, is too much, you know, I think that I'd be probably much more comfortable this being in the five hundred dollar range, four or five hundred dollar range. Perhaps if Loop can over time lower the price, I think they may have a very good, a very good shot at a very good recommendable product on their hands. But again. Full review will be coming soon. I've got a couple other reviews that I'll likely film before this, but that, you know, again, it really just depends on what I end up testing. But as far as cordless machines, this will be the next review. And again, if you have any questions about this machine, since I know a lot of people haven't really seen many videos on this, but if you have a lot of questions about this machine that you want me to answer in the full review, drop those in the comments below. And I definitely will at least if I see it in time, hopefully be able to address that in the full review after some extended usage. So anyways, uh, this, that's my first impressions in the living room vacuuming of the Loop Pure Cordless. Again, shout out to the friend who let me borrow this to do the review on and do videos on. I really appreciate it. I wish you had a channel up and running so I give you a proper shout out, but you know I can always retrofit that later on. So anyways, if you guys like this video, be sure to like it. And again, drop some questions in the comments below. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions and living room vacuuming of this machine. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace.